Center is looking to change policing in the city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Karen Scullin. A resolution presented today would create multiple new public safety and crime prevention departments and committees. Fox 9's Sarah Danik is live in Brooklyn Center to break it all down for us tonight. Sarah? Yeah, Karen, that resolution laid out tonight to the public by the mayor of Brooklyn Center, named after Dante Wright and Co uh, Kobe Demock Heisler, who were both killed by Brooklyn Center police. Enough is enough. Brooklyn Center Mayor Mike Elliott calling a special Saturday meeting of City Council just a few days ago to talk about community safety and the changes he wants to see for the city. The good news is that we have, that we have the ability to start creating these changes now, today. In a resolution presented to the public, Elliott laid out a new idea of how safety could look in Brooklyn Center. First, the resolution would create a Department of Community Safety and Violence Prevention that would oversee the city's fire and police departments, as well as two new unarmed departments. First, the Traffic Enforcement Division that would be responsible for enforcing non-moving traffic violations. And second, a Community Response Department, which would be made up of trained medical and mental health professionals. This resolution will transform our, safe, our system so that police are not the only available response for everything. Those who got up and spoke from the public voiced support for a new approach. We want people to be able to call somebody to get help for their friends and family. We want to be able to drive in peace without being harassed. Please, you can make a difference. But city council members making clear this is not something they'll be immediately voting on. I'm looking at the resolution. I don't have anything that I'm overtly opposed to. You know, I, I feel like there needs to be time. Like if we're talking about working together as a community, there should be an opportunity for the council to talk about it as well, which we have not done yet. And I did catch up with council member Graves, who you just heard from as she was leaving the meeting. Tonight, she said that the council members just received the language of the resolution on Friday night, so they need time to discuss it, to talk about it, and also to talk about it with stakeholders in the community, including the police department, police officers. It's not clear when a vote would happen by the city council on this resolution. We are live tonight in Brooklyn Center. Sarah Danik, Fox 9.